Guys, I appreciate you wanting to check this out. I am going to go ahead and get this tire prepped. I need a spare tire uh, for my Buick wagon. <clears throat> I have this Chevy 5 on 5 61 wagon, so it's old uh, 5 pattern. I have this old Chevy wheel sitting around. It's a tire size bigger than what I have. However, if I can use it for a spare, that'll work great. And I wanted to make a tutorial on this. I did the wagon yesterday. Relatively simple, a um, few things that I did learn. So I'm gonna catch you guys up on those. But if you wanna see how to use Flex Seal and uh, white wall your tires, you're in the right place. Guys, grab you something cold to drink. Let's get to this. So guys, if y'all need to uh, jump in here and get wire wheels and stuff like that, do what you need to do. Get this as clean as possible, okay? I'm gonna start taping this up. Now, this is a hand cook. This is a raised uh, sidewall, meaning it's got all the big letters all the way around it. So did the Buick. Is it something you see? Sure. Traditionally, white walls didn't have raised letters. I'm aware of that. Traditionally, white walls didn't cost $40. So, I mean this about 40 bucks. Let's get back into it. That's enough yapping. So what I've done on this one is this outside letter or this outside line is a real nice, even, clean line. That's what we're gonna cut. So we're gonna tape off on that line all the way around, okay? And um, I'll put you, I'll, I'll just get it taped off and I'll bring you back. How's that? All right, guys, I got it taped off. I'm using my fingernail. And what I'm doing is that little line that I was talking about earlier, I'm just going around it, creating a little chamfer, a little void, a little line, something to trace, to follow. I'm gonna get a utility knife with a new sharp blade in it. And I'm gonna come back and trim all this up, okay? Then I'm gonna paint the inside of this black while it's sitting here. Then I'm gonna set it in the sun for just a few minutes. That's gonna warm all this back up. It's gonna help this bake on because we have a little insert that we've gotta put in there, okay? Just some little stuff I got at the dollar store. Also, let me mention this, dollar store tape doesn't stick to anything. Guys, buy good tape. I'm a contractor, I buy Refinish brand, okay? Can you see that in there? Refinish is a specialty products tape for like automotive supply, uh, painting houses, that sort of stuff. Uh, a lot like 3M, but I buy this in rolls, in logs of all different sizes. I keep it on my service trailers. Um, anyhow, so get good tape because you'll want it. A lot of stuff don't want to stick to rubber. So let's continue on. So I'm just using flat black on this, which is going to be fine for me. It's what I did on those. Now these hubcaps, they, they recess in. Let me see if this one's gonna do the same thing on this wheel. Probably should have checked this first too. Yeah, so it recesses in the little hole. So you will see this little lip. Now if you wanted a different color, um, of course just put the different color on there and it'll show through. Like if I wanted red, paint this red, hubcap covers it, that sort of thing. So anyhow, um, I'm gonna get a little paint on here. And mainly I want it on this outside lip where we see, okay? Just like so. Don't need to be a bunch. I'm gonna hit this inside lip because it's gonna be visible too. And then we're gonna go set this in the sun and let it UV cook, okay? So that's all I'm really wanting. We're not gonna see anything past the hubcap. And this is my last can of black. My nephews went through two cans yesterday. So, I'm gonna set this outside. I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes. I'm gonna get me something to drink. Oh, before I do that, let me cut this off so it don't get super sticky where we want it. I don't know if you guys use those little, these little disposable utility knives from uh, the Harbor Freight. I get a handful of them every time I'm in there. Cause you just snap them off. They're disposable, but they're sharp. And uh, you just snap off what you don't want. So I'm just lightly following that little curve. Very little pressure. All we're trying to do is cut the tape. We're not trying to gouge into the tire. And I'm using my pinky kind of as a guide, okay? But we're gonna do our best to just go around this whole little curve. And that's gonna be our crisp white wall line, okay? I'm gonna finish this up. 
Okay, so I got my little template on there. What it, it's just a piece of poster board, okay? I got the, I painted the wheel, the first one, set the poster board in there, used our thumb, went around it, okay? Flipped it over, and now I got an outline of what I need. So we just cut to the inside of the line, okay? So, got that little thing on there. That's just gonna keep any of this white overspray from getting on there. And we want a nice crisp lip, so to speak, okay? So I'm gonna get this started. And done, so I'll catch you guys back up in just a few minutes. There's not much left in here, guys, but we're gonna see if one of these cans is gonna do five tires. Flexio Max, 20% more coverage. Don't know about that, but it does cover well. So I'm gonna do the shake for just a second, and we're gonna get going. Let's get it on, let's do this. When I did this yesterday, I figured out a little trick. Let's talk about those for just a second. So we did four, we did one right off the bat and we wanted to see if it was gonna work, okay? Um, we did two 10 minute bake sessions. Like we did one coat, set it outside for 10 minutes, brought it back in, did another coat, set it outside for 10 minutes and it was already rubberizing really, really well. And when we went to pull the masking off, you could see it just kind of trying to pull on it. Now, the second one we did for like five minutes and five minutes, and uh, it seemed to do better. The third and the fourth one, we did a light coat on it. We left it inside the shop. It was 100, like 103 yesterday, so it's probably 90 in here, but there's breeze pulling through, so it's not bad. But we did it, and we set it in the shop for like five minutes, okay? So like we did the first coat, just let it sit there just like it is here. Did another light coat and then pulled the stuff right off and it was a way cleaner line. So if it's hot outside, you may consider doing it this way. If it's cooler, you might want to set it in the sun, but the stuff tacks up pretty quick. Now it's rubber to rubber. So once it's on there, you're not getting it off. Okay. Um, longevity. I don't know. We'll see. However, I think this is well worth the time, the money, the investment. And everybody that I've talked to, they're like, I don't know, it wouldn't bother me at all to have raised white walls. Um, it's the look that we're looking for, and it has the look. I know, it's not a regular white wall. You guys are going to try to drill that in my head. I'm aware. And I'll do it again, boss. Let me get all the crunchies off the tip from yesterday. We want to start this off with a good clean slate. All right, let's see if that's going to squirt like it did yesterday. Yep. All right, you guys ready? This is all it takes. Let's, let's get this done. I'm going to hit it from one way. I'm going to go to the outside. So I'm hitting it coming over this way and I'm hitting it coming over this way. Okay. You can see it doesn't take much, all right? And I hope this, the rest of this little can does this one tire. It feels like it's going to. Matter of fact, I'm pretty certain that we're golden. This stuff was like just under 20 bucks. I got this and some flat black and some other stuff yesterday. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for just a few minutes, okay? Let's talk about why you should be subscribed to this channel. We're gonna give that just a second. Here's why. There's really no good reason. Um, I'm not a fab shop. I am not a mechanic. I am a guy, a car enthusiast, have been one for years and I've always built cool stuff. And I try to do stuff on a budget. I try to keep it fun, friendly, and clean for the entire family. There is some adult humor in here. We do do shenanigans, and we do them well. And we like cool junk. 
So whether it's art, cars, some beat up motorcycle, a cool wrecker, I don't care. I like automobiles. I am in it for that. Um, and two, I'm trying to build a little platform. You know, cheer a guy on, pat him on the back. Give it a like, leave a comment, man. If this helps you out, I think this is cool. So, it looks like it's losing its sheen, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat on the outside. We're gonna give it a second, just because I'm starting to see little, a little bit of black in here, okay? So I'm getting that a little darker. And that's, that's gonna be our leading edge. Sorry guys, that wind is blowing this stuff right back in my face. There's not much left in the can, so I'm just gonna go for it, all right? We're gonna get this done right quick. Now there is a little black ring in here that I see and I think it's from not being completely aired up, which is fine. But I'm gonna be willing to say this will make us one fine spare tire. Okay. I'm gonna go set this in the sun. We're gonna help it bake for Oh, I don't know. Let's say 10 minutes. Okay? Hmm. May just leave it here. All right, guys. It's just as easy as that. There's still just a little bit left in that can. I'm going to let this harden up. I think when it does, it, it shrinks it just a scotch. And uh, I'll touch up any light deals. But uh, I'm going to keep this here. Just sitting here for, I don't know, let's say 10 minutes. Something like that. Um, that's about what everybody's doing on the videos. Um, and I know that the heat helps and having good tape is gonna, it's gonna be a key. Um, having them tires warm, nice and warm, will help that. Right there, it'll help that, whatever that is. You know what it is. It's still a little tacky, but like I can touch it and it's not leaving color on my finger, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the line, or pull the tape. I don't want it to be so solidified that it starts stretching. In the first one we did 10 minutes in the sun and 10 minutes afterwards and two coats like that, it did. We don't want that, okay? We wanna get it while it's still just a little like it's tacky, like if you're painting, like you're, you're ready for the next coat. That's what we're looking for, okay? Let me get to a bottom piece so this will all come off in one. And this tape I get is the stuff. Okay, and I'm gonna pull it away slow and towards me, just like you would in paint, any paint application, okay? Okay, I guess we're gonna do the second band first. That's fine. That's fine. So just till it's tacky, guys, but not leaving any color on your finger, okay? And it's coming right off. Yeah, I just smudged it on that tape, so it's still a little wet. See? Don't be afraid of it. Wear wear it clothes. I'm glad I heard about this. I was looking at those little rings and all that other weird stuff. And uh, until I bust off this engine, I'm not willing to spend a lot of money. Because if I do, gotta get this nail head back on the road, they're expensive. Like, you think, it's like Mopar. You're just like, goodness. So, but without that bad starter line and all the electrical problems. <laughs> I could go on. All right, guys, that's that. Now, hold your horses, let me figure out a way to get this out without getting stuff all over me. We're gonna get that little cone out of there. 
Let's do it this way. Let me just cut that and see if I can flip up under it. There we go. We'll pull this all out in one, hopefully. Okay. So that's hitting the trash can. Let me get this last little bit off. Remember guys, it's still wet. We don't want it to dry up on us. We don't want to pull anything off. And uh, it'd be in a state of, you know what I mean. You want it to still be tacky. And guys, just like that, we have a nice clean spare tire. Now, one thing I didn't think of, this isn't aired all the way up. Once I put air in it, is it gonna stretch those seams open and bust open? I bet it will. Just thought of that. Great thinking. Dang it. All right, guys, so y'all seen how that was done. This just knocks in there. Let me see if I can do it with the side of my fist without hurting myself. And I am old, so stuff like that does hurt. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and air it up. I'm not real sure. And I didn't think about this, but this may have shot myself in the foot, uh, not having it fully aired up before. I'm hoping while it's still rubberized, if I air it up, it doesn't stretch it open and leave big black lines in it. So, make sure your tire is fully aired up. I'd be willing to bet you that's probably a very important step that I skipped. So, I'll tell you in a second. All right, guys, y'all see me do that. That's all there is to it. That took about probably 45 minutes uh, without the waiting, you know. You gotta wait in the sun for a little bit. Other than that, that was it. And I understand this is a little aggressive to get a hubcap on. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. Hey, but wait, there's more. You guys didn't think I was gonna let y'all go without showing you the wagon, did you? Uh, if you're part of uh, the subscription, guys, you've seen this. Uh, if not, um, thanks for watching the little how-to deal. You guys can do this. Let me flip you around and show you the wagon. So 1961 Buick with Sabre station wagon, extremely complete. It was a field find, been sitting for decades. That's the wheel you just seen me do. Just wanted to spare. So anyhow, bam, bam, and bam. You guys feel free to jump on the channel. Take a look at some of the videos. If you feel that there's value in it and uh, you found a little humor in it, whatever it is, feel free to like it and subscribe. And uh, if so, welcome aboard, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.